The Woodrow Wilson and Cedar Creek football teams combined to bring up 69 points in Saturday's Group 3 South Central Regional Championship. They totaled 601 yards of offense, and the game was still decided on one play over a matter of an inch or two. That's the play I'm going to remember. It just, it just, you know, it kind of sums up the season for me. Uh, never just want to come that short, but you know, everything adds up. We didn't, do, we didn't do enough. It was a fourth down play with 10 seconds left in the game. The officials ruled that one of Nazir Oglesby's knees, or maybe a shin, touched the turf before he could stretch across the goal line. A replay review upheld the decision and also the Pirates' undefeated status. Ten seconds later, a first quarter in which Cedar Creek committed three turnovers and fell into a 22-0 hole was all but forgotten. That was the score after four minutes and 34 seconds of play. But the Pirates went about their task like it was still 0-0. Zero, zero. Oh, uh, 22 nothing. looked at the scoreboard, didn't really think much of it. You know, everyone on the sidelines, no, one, no one's out there uh, bickering, saying putting their head down or anything. Uh, so yeah, everyone on the sidelines like, you know, let's go out there, let's do what we got to do. And as soon as we put that first seven on the on the scoreboard, you know, I knew we were going to keep putting up more. Jaquan Howard scored the first seven from 11 yards out. Zach Ricky had a pair in the second half. We, we, spread the ball, we spread the ball a lot this game, man. Like the season, yeah, we still uh, our starting player. Yeah, he still got the ball a lot, but we all got the ball. Me, I scored, small scored, he scored. Everybody got the ball today, bro. Everybody got touches. An 80-yard kick return by Michael Estramera put Wilson back up two scores, but Jojo Bermudez answered for the Pirates with a 70-yard touchdown catch. We knew like they was playing one-on-one -on -one backside. I mean, we seen they starting corner out, and we knew they attacked they set um they second string cornerback. Odd as it seems, almost a full quarter passed before Cedar Creek managed another first down after that. It was just 321 remaining when Ricky gave Creek its first lead on a 51-yard TD catch. It was a mech dig, it was a met, there was a drag, and I, I'm going around him, ran a dig, I was wide open and scored a touchdown. I'm not gonna lie, thought I was gonna get smacked, caught it though, and I see nothing but daylight and I scored. Do my thing. It was one of the biggest plays of the game, but it was followed by one almost as big. Matthew Best kicked an extra point, which is something Wilson can't do because it has no place kicker. Ultimately, that was the difference. The Pirates finished off a perfect 2021 season with a 35-34 victory. Ever since we were starting, we worked hard. I mean, we all played each other literally, or we played against each other. So we were real good with chemistry. Really, really a very special team from, from the receivers to the running back to the linemen to, to the, the linebackers, the safeties, the corners, everyone on the team, uh, defensive line, everyone on that team is really special. From Rutgers Stadium in Piscataway, this is John Lewis.